Today I'm going to give you some examples of RF connectors that you're going to need for your next portable operating adventure. And quite frankly, if you operate a lot or you want to operate a lot when you're out portable, you're going to need these things in your bag. If you have a lot of experience portable operating, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And the more things that you have, the more your load is. Everything just gets bigger exponentially because you want to be prepared. And I think there's a way to strike a happy medium, a balance, before you go out. And with that, some of the important things that I use are the RF connectors. The connectors that get your coax connected to the radio. Today I'm going to show you 12 RF adapters that you need for your go kit for three different scenarios. Just having this small handful of RF connectors in your go bag will make a big difference on you getting on the air or not being able to get on the air when you run into a problem. Now I'm separating my group of RF connectors, my recommendation for you, into three different groups. We've got the UHF, which are the SO239, the B and C connectors that you'll use for the smaller cable as well, and the SMA. SMA is for handhelds, typically. Let's start with the UHF connectors. My first recommendation for the SO239 barrel connectors would be the short ones and the longer ones. The longer barrel connectors, in my opinion, are always better than the short one. One, you can grab a hold of them. They're easier to know that you have a good secure connection, and they're usually built better. Now the next connector is a 90 degree angle. It's SO239 to PL259. So you can make those tight corners when you have thick coax and you really don't want to bend it. This is going to make that happen for you. My last RF connector is this male to male barrel connector. This adapter is really valuable if you need to connect something right to your radio, like a filter, some sort of bandpass filter, and you want that thing to be right up on the radio. That'll prevent any other RF from getting into it. You could use something like this in a contest. Now onto BNC. BNC is a very common connection. Thinner coax, smaller things for portable use you're going to use. The most common adapters for me with the BNC fittings are the SO239 to BNC, male and female. And because you can never count on the exact fitting that you're going to have when you're out operating, having one of each will save your bacon more times than you will know. And when you're out portable operating, you don't always know exactly what fitting you're going to have. You may be helping somebody else or using some other coax that someone let you borrow or you found something that you need to use and it's got the opposite connection. I can't tell you how many times having both versions have made a difference for me. Another helpful adapter is the BNC to PL259. Connecting a BNC adapter like this to the back of your radio directly gives you that conversion from UHF to BNC. And just like before, having a 90 degree angle, BNC male to female, and a 90 degree adapter, male to female, will also help you when you either need to extend your existing coax to get that extra distance. Sometimes it's only a couple feet that make the difference. This will get you out of that jam. And last on my list of important RF adapters that you need in your go bag are the SMA connections. Just about every HT handheld radio that you're going to come across is SMA. It's either SMA female or SMA male. And having adapters that can get your little handheld radio connected to a bigger coax, which means a bigger antenna, is going to make that connection for you so you can go from the radio to a bigger coax very easily. Having the ability to extend your coax when they're both SMA connections is having yourself a barrel connector for SMA. This is an SMA male to male. As small as this is, this can make a huge difference if you're trying to connect, let's say, an SDR dongle or some other small filter. This is by no means a comprehensive list of every RF adapter that you could possibly use, but it's a small list of something that you can get. Put these in your go bag. They're only a handful of adapters, and these can get you out of a jam when you're trying to get your radio connected to some antenna. And really, that's the goal of operating portable, is to get yourself on the air. Hook your radio up to your antenna. I'll have a list of everything I used here in this video in the description below. If you want to see another video on portable operating or antenna setup, check this one out right here. Thank you guys for watching 73.